Sorry, cut myself off, and I hate this phone. I'm trying to get the uh, view of what's going on with the car. Like I said, I was trying to do a little, this is like a trail run for this car. This thing is digital proportioned. Like, doesn't. I wonder if, if I could get a motor <clears throat> that, that's this, that's a little faster, but uh, has enough torque to do this. And so they make them this small in six pole. So I could have much better control over the quantity. They say not to modify this thing, but it's built like a hobby car. I mean, I think there's some lights I didn't put on this, and a roof rack that the car came with. And if I can, if I can take the car apart, put that, put those, plug those in, because those lights go on the roof. I'm that is a hobby car to me. You can do that because it has holes to put those lights on. So does it make much sense that you couldn't modify this vehicle? It's not waterproof, unfortunately. But the little thing has a has enough power to go through grass, which is amazing. It runs off a 7.2, a 7.4 lipo. See, look at that. Look at that. Can you believe this little 14 scale car can do this? The grass is pretty tall. My Hornet would have a problem going through this. And it's much bigger, much stronger motor. That was very funny to watch that from across the road. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Where's it coming from? Uh, it's a <clears throat> little, uh, little crawler, trail crawler car. Yes, with lights and turn signals. <laughs> see, you see it blinking? No. Uh, there, it's or, or it's amber colored. Okay. See it? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Reminds me of Jumanji. <laughs> Were they, I don't think it was big enough to hold them if it was a Jeep. <laughs> 